Is it just me, or does Get to Heaven have one of the best album covers of all time? No, no, that's just me? I, all right, okay. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Music Gauntlet channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far, and today we are going to be talking about the latest album from Everything Everything called Reanimator. Everything Everything is a somewhat experimental band hailing from the United Kingdom, comprised of Jonathan Higgs, Jeremy Pitchard, Michael Spearman, and Alex Robertshaw. Despite this only being their fifth studio album since their debut in 2010, the group has managed to build a pretty vast and dedicated following. What makes everything everything so good is kind of a loaded question, because every aspect of the music coming together is what makes an album by the group such an experience. From the abstract lyrics about situations not easily understood on the surface, to the instrumentation being hypnotizing with a psychedelic edge, to lead vocalist Jonathan Higgs using his falsetto tone to convey a wide array of emotions, <sighs> this band really has it all going for them. Some would argue though that this hasn't always been well capitalized off of. A high point in the band's career came in 2015 with the album Get to Heaven, hailed as their most dynamic work and one that found the band in perfect sync with their vision. The unique characteristics mentioned before were all honed in on and perfected for a fierce and potent experience, making people not even invested in the group tune in to hear what they had to say. Their fourth studio album came in 2017. A Fever Dream, no not me describing it, that's actually the title, was a decent follow up but seemed to pivot into a more accessible direction. Again, the unique factor seemed to still be intact, only the production was toned down as if to have a broader appeal. Which makes sense, I mean, if you have a message you want to relate to an audience, wouldn't you want it to be heard by as many individuals as possible? The shift was handled with care, but it left it open-ended what direction the band would be striving towards. Would they swing harder than ever and try and top Get to Heaven, or continue to build off the sonic ideas of Fever Dream? And ladies and gentlemen, after listening to Reanimator, it's clear they're aiming for the latter. Now, it's easy to simply say everything everything is selling out and making basic music, but that's not really the case here. Yes, I can confirm this might be their most easily accessible album to date, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing if the band is able to find the balance between this and authenticity. While it isn't necessarily achieved all the time, there were a few bright moments in the project that offer hope for an even brighter future. Lyrically, Higgs is still keeping up with the abstract imagery that brought such an interesting element to the table. He claims the inspiration behind the project came as a result of dissecting a concept by psychology expert Julian Jaynes, that being the idea of humans having two separate minds divided by the two segments of our brain. Now don't get scared away by this concept because it doesn't really necessarily play a huge role in the project. Yes, it justifies a lot of the ideas covered, but by no means is it essential in understanding to properly digest the album. This could be a good and bad thing, because the floor is pretty much completely open discussing such a broad topic about the miracle of consciousness, making for moments that can come off as sputtered nonsense at times. It Was a Monstering is a good example of this, attempting to describe alienation as if viewed as a monster by society, yet fumbling the execution by having trailing thoughts being non-additive to the concept. I mean, the ending results in Higgs literally just listing off mythological monsters, something tells me that could have been written a little bit better. And while the opening cut Lost Powers sets up the theme of finding absurdity amongst madness, it doesn't serve any other purpose really other than being the opener with lyrics that come off as complete filler. These moments, however, are just the band slightly veering off topic, having other songs that delve into the truly imaginative. While I'm not the biggest fan of Black Hyena sonically, it at least contains the interesting lyrical content about someone bringing animals back to life only to turn on him, and Big Climb even dares to get economically preachy, making the standout observation of not wondering when climate change will kill us, but if it ever will. Concept-wise, the project is able to pull ahead. It takes a dip though upon hearing how these songs actually come together. Often too many times, like the aforementioned Black Hyena, a decently written song and idea will be muddied by production that lacks the impact the lyrics demand. The song Planets is sweet in concept, but becomes dulled by the conventional synth-pop alluding to a slower ballad, something that reminds me of what Walk the Moon would whip up. And Arch Enemy could have been quite impactful with its main protagonist in search of proof of God only to find despair, but ends up being their most mainstream sounding reach to date. And this is really the main issue. The concepts can be somewhat complex and cover topics that offer food for thought, yet the production suggests this can be picked up and enjoyed by anyone with a pop rock liking. It does sound like they're closer to perfecting this than on Fever Dream, but there's still notable room for improvement. At times, there can be beautiful moments to come out of the band's work, such as Moonlight and Violent Sun, but as a body of work, I can't really see myself wanting to rehear Animator in its entirety. There are flickers of good ideas, but it can't be said that this album comes together as a full cohesive piece, and per usual, everything everything knows how to make a chorus being as sticky as Gorilla Glue, that hasn't changed. I did not enjoy listening to this album, it's just another one of those times when you know the artist in question has potential to do so much better. Improvements have been noted, now we patiently await to hear how everything everything composes themselves on the next one. And as far as where this album ranks amongst their previous work, I can't really say this is one of my favorites by them.
I would still have to say Get to Heaven is my favorite project by them, followed by Man Alive, and then Ark, and then Reanimator, and finally, in last place, uh, A Fever Dream. Keep in mind though, I don't necessarily dislike any of these projects, even A Fever Dream has a few things going for it that I admire. And overall, I really do like the band and admire their creativity that they put into their music. I just hope they find their footing with this new sound that they're attempting and find a way to do it even better than they're doing now. For my top 5 songs from the project, I will have to go with Big Climb, Moonlight, Lord of the Trap Door, The Actor, and Violent Sun. And I think that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way into the end. If you made it all the way into the end, I truly appreciate it. If you want to discuss this album with me, that's totally fine. Of course, this is just my opinion, so I want to hear yours as well. You can comment in the comment section, or you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter and at me on there. I'll leave the links in the description. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.